All right. So, Bipasha, a few words. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming here, all of you, in this amazing weather, but a beautiful, beautiful place for an amazing event. Uh, we are talking about the SBI Pinkathon. Uh, very excited to be here every year. Um, you know, for me, fitness is a way of life. It's my lifestyle. Um, any platform that I get to talk about it, I'm always there. And especially a cause as great as the SBI Pinkathon, because uh, here we are talking about a marathon for women. And that's fantastic. You know, women need their own, you know, they have to have a little bit of their edge because uh, we kind of provide men with everything, every possible thing all the time. So there has to be some events like this. Uh, yes, there are very important uh, uh, awarenesses that we are trying to create with this Pinkathon. And, uh, you know, we heard everyone speak on this. All, all the women have given their stories and what they are wanting to achieve out of Pinkathon. Uh, me, as the girl that I am, um, I had a lot of handicaps in life, and that's why I got into fitness. What's very important um, is that you look after yourself. My philosophy is love yourself. That's something that I preach very strongly. And that's exactly what Harshila was saying. You know, it's about you. And, um, you know, her story is that of a survivor. And that teaches us a lot, not just people who have cancer. All of, all of us, all healthy women. It can happen. Anything can happen to us at any point of time. So it's very, very important to look after your health and definitely support an initiative as good as this because it's going to basically we're talking about women. We are talking about health. We have to come out in big numbers and support a cause like this. So I'm expecting definitely on 14th of December a lot, lot, lot many of women in Mumbai who definitely are very intelligent women. They will come out and support this cause. And um, yeah, 10,000 is a very small number. We are definitely going to achieve better than that. So, uh, so as, as Bipasha mentioned that, you know, special platforms like these are actually necessary. You know, all over the world today, people are talking about creating a space for women so that women can express themselves better, that we can hear their voice, they can feel comfortable coming out because we do live in a patriarchal society. Even in a country like America, for example, when the whole running movement started about 40 years ago, there were no women running. So in an event where 10,000 men would be participating, there would be only two or three women. And the reason there was also cultural. They felt, you know, exercise and running and all this is for men. It's not, it's not a place for women. It's not that they felt shy or anything like that. Just, they just felt that's not their place, to be running with men. So what some organizations did is they started women's running events in America in the 70s. And today, out of 30 million people who run in America regularly, 30 million, it's a big number, 60% of those are women. Up to the half marathon distance in America, 60% of the participation is with women. So that is where we want to get. We have other cultural uh, obstacles that face us. Apart from uh, feeling that this is not our place, you know, how do I have to wear small shorts? Do I have to wear a ganji? What will I wear? I can't wear a t-shirt. So we allow women to wear whatever they're comfortable in. Women wear, run in saris, they run in uh, uh, salwar kameez, they run in hijab. They run in whatever they feel like, and, and it's okay. If they went, for example, to an, any other event, people would probably laugh at them. They'd feel judged. But that does not happen at the Pinkathon. And that is the kind of comfort that we give them. In fact, this kind of an attitude is not just um, in India. Even in England, about a, a month ago, there was a report that came out, and it was based on a study as to why British women do not exercise. And the top two reasons were one, fear of judgment, because when they go to the gym or to a sporting arena for the first time, they might look too fat or they might look funny in these sporting clothes or something like that. And the second one was guilt about taking time from their families. So these two things are common across the world, not just in India or in America or in England. This is the way the world is today. And we have to break out of that, break out of these stereotypes, break out of these boundaries, these limitations. And of course, if we have to create special platforms for that, we must. So the Pinkathon is doing that, and with your help, with the media, we, require, we need a lot of media. When we're talking about numbers here, we have about 7 or 8 million women in, in Bombay. Now, of course, if all of them came for the Pinkathon, we can't handle it. We cannot handle 8 million women. Uh, no, no, I, can. <laughs> I, I can, but the Pinkathon can't. <laughs> so 
So even if we're talking about 10 or 20,000 women, we have to be able to reach out to them, for them to know that there is an event like this, that this is the cause, that the cause is them, and that this is a celebration which they must take part in. And the only way to reach out to those women is through you. So the reason why we have invited you here today, of course, is to celebrate with us the fact that this is going to be our 10th Pinkathon in the last two years. But it's also to appeal to you to spread this message as much as you can, not only in the public, but even in your families, your colleagues, your friends, and try and get as many women as possible. Now, each of you today here who, has, who have heard these messages has become an ambassador for something that is good, something that is good and we hope will change our society for the better. So thank you very much for coming. I love to run. 10 kilometers is not very tough for me. I can run 10 kilometers. And yes, to the best of my knowledge, I'm going to try and be there on that day. And 10 kilometers is not very tough, though I have osteoarthritis, and it's not very advisable for me to run on a road. Uh, but I will try my level best. That's why I've been always part of marathons and inspiring people, talking about it, telling them. But there's always also your personal journey. You know, there are injuries that you have to deal with, and you have to be careful about your body. So uh, when it comes to cardio, though I love running, it's the most liberating uh, thing in the world for me. I have to do it in little portions. Like I can't do it uh, long term all the time. And uh, yes, the DVDs are always there to inspire women. And yeah, Love Yourself is there and I'm there. And uh, it's beautiful that every time, you know, I've been a part of a function, many, many more women have listened to me, participated. Um, I would like to share this, uh, it's, uh, I, it's, another, it's about another marathon, but there was a growth in 25% of women participation in the Delhi Marathon this year. I've just come from there, and um, it's really sweet that you know, all the work that we put together, and so many more women came out in New Delhi, so I'm hoping that you know, in Mumbai, we do the same. Well, I, I have a lot of plans as I grow older and older. I definitely want to do a lot for women. I want to do a lot for health and fitness. And uh, yes, uh, it always helps when you have uh, you know, had your own handicaps and your share of health issues, which happen, lifestyle diseases, as we talked about. It keeps happening to you. So there are stories that I would want to discuss about my life, too. And everything you know, makes you uh, that much more proactive in that field. For me, fitness and health is passion all passion. There's nothing more than that. That's why I'm always there on any kind of platform when you talk about fitness and health. So yes, there are a lot of things that I want to do eventually. Would right now, be... we will give full support to Pinkathon. If you can get a half hour for you, you can get 24 hours. If you give a half hour for you, then you can see your family as well. You know, your efficiency levels will go up. Definitely, you'll be a calmer person. You, you know, you'll have no health issues. So, you can do whatever you do at home. You know, you'll have no health issues. So, you can do whatever you do at home. You know, you'll have no health issues. So, you can do whatever you do at home. You know, you'll have no health issues. So, you can do whatever you do at home. You know, you'll have no health issues. So, you can do whatever स्विमिंग करिए या कोई स्पोर्ट खेलिए खुद के लिए सेहत के लिए कुछ ना कुछ करना बहुत जरूरी है। I have been participating in sports since the age of ten. I was representing Maharashtra from the age of ten to the age of twenty-three. So I understand the value of that activity today. I'm going to be fifty next year, but what I did thirty-five years ago, I feel the value of that today. So it's very important. What is one of the basic premises of the Pinkathon is to get women to understand the value. Of regular exercise, of an active lifestyle, so that they can bring up healthier, fitter children. Because I feel the kind of advantage I had because my mother encouraged me to do sport. Every child in India should have that advantage. It is not a question of that I have to be fit because I'm on screen or anything like that, or even for Bipasha. She likes to feel this way. The reason why she has this saying about loving yourself is not because she's an actress, it's because she believes that's the right way to live. So, uh, Sorry, I'm talking for you, but yeah. I'd also like to say that, as you asked, the women who are sitting at home, I want to say that the women who participate in Pinkathon, about 80% of the participants have never been for an event before. They have never been for an event before. They have never been for an event before. They have All of them have come out for the first time. So we know that there are people who want to do something, but they don't get a chance, they don't get an opportunity. उनको लगता है कि नहीं अगर वहाँ हम जाएंगे तो लोग हंसेंगे, अगर हम वहाँ हम जाएंगे तो क्या अलग से कपड़े पहनने पड़ेंगे, कुछ अलग करना पड़ेगा, बहुत सारे विचार आते हैं मन में। It's not just a question of time, it's also a question कि लोग क्या कहेंगे। So we try to make it easier for them. 
Another thing I'd like to say is ki, to make it more inclusive, we started a new uh, initiative for blind girls to participate in the Pinkathon. So in the Pune Pinkathon, we had 23 blind girls who ran with partners. And we made a special medal for them also, which was made in Braille. So they, they could read. They could, they could touch it and read it in their language. That I ran the Pinkathon in 2014. Yeah, it's in Braille. So we try to do different things like this. So even if you have suggestions uh, on how we can make the event more inclusive, to include women from different backgrounds who might otherwise feel reluctant, then do let us know. We have an initiative called Har Ghar Mein Pinkathon, where a lot of people get together. We have ambassadors of the Pinkathon. If you see the t-shirt I'm wearing, stand up these three ambassadors over here. So you can see, give a big round of applause to our ambassadors. These are men and women all over the country, in fact, who have come to us and said, we would like to work on this platform. We want to do something. We want to contribute with this change that you are coming with. How do we do it? And we told them, you just inspire all the people around you, your friends and your family, and that's it. And they have been doing an amazing, amazing job.